Hi, welcome to the Foster1992J YouTube channel. I've been a Twitch streamer now for about a year over uh, at, Fos at Foster1992J on Twitch. And we usually do shiny hunts, some, uh, I've done some ranked battles on stream. But I thought I should bring some of this over to uh, YouTube. So we're going to start with Series 10. The series just started tonight, or today I guess. I'm filming this on August 1st. And I threw together this uh, Calyrax Tapu Lili uh, team that made, uh, I think it was second place at a um, event tr uh, testing out the series. I haven't done ranked battles in about eight months, so I'd like to uh record my journey uh, going back into ranked i made a master rank in series one way back when uh sword and shield first came out so i'd like to try to get back to master rank haven't done it in forever haven't really had motivation to do it without the dynamaxing in series 10 i've been a lot more interested in it so if you'd like to rent my team out if you like what you see the rental code is right down in the uh, bottom but let's jump into some uh, battles here and I'll tell you my thoughts so here we are with our first match uh, we've got a Latios Kyogre team seems fairly straightforward with Kyogre, Raichu, Urshifu, Landorus, Amoongus and the Latios my team really nicely stacks up here the ditto, if I can copy the Raichu, will be a very big help here. But I think we want to lead Calyrex, uh, Whimsicott, and then bring Tapu Lele and. Why do we want Tapu Lele? I kind of want Entei for the Amoongus. Uh, Tapu Lele Psychic, so actually Tapu Lele will be fine. And we'll bring Ditto to hopefully copy the Raichu to have a better matchup with Kyogre. Although I think Astral Barrage should just do enough damage. So I'm really interested to see how uh, I stack up here. I don't know if... Uh, my oh, they lead with Raichu. I don't know if my playing is actually going to be uh, smooth enough for. Uh, it's been a long time since I've really gotten into competitive battling. So all the moves trigger. Now I'm just going to jam out Astral Barrage and. Protect the Whimsicott. I'm expecting a fake out out of Raichu here. Yeah, there's the fake out. It goes into the Whimsicott, so I protect my Focus Sash. The Water Spout will protect Wism. The Protect will stop that from hurting Whimsicott. I hope Calyrex survives. Calyrex just survives. I'm going to die to Life Orb damage here after Astral Barrage. I'm expecting Raichu to go down. Nope, neither go down and I lose Calyrex. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So now I'm going to send out... Ditto. Ditto should copy Kyogre here. Yeah, I get Kyogre. Now I can see their moves. And I'm going to shoot off a Water Spout. Oh, that's not going to be very effective. I'm going to... I think I need to shoot off a Water Spout because it hits both. I also want to set the Tailwind here. I want some speed advantage here. I 
I get my water spout off. Demos the Raichu, so I don't have to worry about Raichu now. I wonder what Kyogre's item is. Might be choice. Does no damage on either side because of all the damage it's taken. I think it's choice specs. Judging by the moves it has, I think it's choice specs. Now that Urshifu is the dark Urshifu. So I'm honestly not too concerned here. I should be able to take both out this turn with my Tailwind Speed Advantage. Oh, Sucker Punch. That's going to weaken my Water Spout. Oh, I have Citrus Berry. So not as weakened as theirs was. Moonblast well, should take out Urshifu or bring it to its Sash. No Sash. Water Spout is a single target on no HP Kyogre. And I get the knockout there on Kyogre. Oh, all they have left is Lando. Okay. Still have Tailwind Advantage. Part of me is expecting a concede here. I'm just gonna double into it. Shouldn't outspeed me. Oh, no concede. Decent damage. Ice beam. I don't know if it's gonna one shot it. And that's our first battle uh, done. It was very easy. Almost too easy. I'm. In beginner rank but that went fairly well I learned a few things Calyrex gets out sped we're not gonna check the opponent's battle team we're gonna jump into our next battle here I'll be back with the next battle all right so for our next battle we have I don't see any restricted Pokemon huh Okay, no restricted Pokemon. They only have a Thunderous. The Salamence might be uh, a little scary. I don't remember what Calyrex's type is. Oh, Psychic Ghost. There's no grass. So I'm not really concerned here by the majority of their team. The Starmie may cause some problems. And the Galarian uh, Darmanitan. But... The others don't seem to be that much of a threat, so I think I'm just going to lead Calyrex Wismcott again. And I think... Entei's got ground. Yeah, I'm going to just have Tapu Lele and Entei in the back. I don't need the extra... I don't need the water typing from Urshifu here. Aerodactyl may cause some problems with this uh, lineup, but I think I don't think I bring Aerodactyl against this team. So they lead Thunderous Gengar. And my Calyrex and Wisdom caught. Thunderous probably is Prankster if I'm remembering right. Oh, I didn't think about Gengar's uh, being super effective to me. Well, we're just going to use Astral Barrage again and I'm just going to set Tailwind. We'll have a Prankster show off. I outsped with my... Uh, Maybe it's not Prankster Thunderous. Oh, no. It uses Thunder Wave into my Cotton Ball. I get Astral Barrage off. Do we get any knockouts here? Double knockout? No Focus Ashes? Okay. 
We did move up to Pokeball tier in between those two matches, so I was actually expecting more of a fight there. But now that I have the uh, special attack boost, I don't think this is going to go on much longer. We're waiting. Whoa! Okay, there we go. There's the Darmanitan. A nice shiny Darmanitan. And Salamence. So, I think I just jam Astral Barrage again into this. And Moonblast the Salamence. I don't really... This turn's a throwaway turn. I don't really need either of these Pokemon left. My ones in the back pair up nicely against both of these. So this match is mostly just a write-off at this point. Calyrex, I think, will one-shot uh, Salamence. Oh, just another double knockout. That... Calyrex is just too strong. I'm still not a big fan of Calyrex's design by itself. I don't mind it being a rider, but I do think Calyrex is way too strong. It's just dummied everything we've gone up against. I'm hoping when we get to the higher tiers, we'll have uh, more fights with uh, Calyrex. Yeah, see, now we're in Pokeball Tier 5. I'll get some more battle points. Well, we're looking for the next trainer. Why don't you leave a like, maybe comment, subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Actually, comment and let me know what t uh, Pokemon you'd like to see me feature in uh, future videos. I'm also thinking about doing some theme teams. So, uh, here's a real team. Zacian, Zapdos, Politoed, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Landorus. Here's a real team. This should be a much better battle and way more thrilling to watch. Zashin, I actually think, has lost a lot of its staying power, being uh, without Dynamaxes. Zapdos is scary. I don't really... I guess I just bash it with Calyrex. So I think, again, we're going to leak Calyrex, Wisdom Caught. And then have... There's a lot of Fake Out on this team. And then have Tapu Lele... Entei in the back. Yeah, I want to fight over um, Tailwinds with uh, Zapdos. Because I really want uh, Calyrex to just jam in with Astral Barrage again. Does Ashen part... Yeah, it's Fairy Steel, isn't it? It's like Xanazenta there, who I'm pretty sure is part fighting. I think it's Fighting Steel. I didn't touch Pokemon for those, like, eight months I was, wasn't was uh, streaming or playing. Oh, Incineroar made Rank Master. Okay. I think Calyrex having two abilities is also uh, a little crazy. Is Ash... I think Ashwell Barrage is special. So I'm not concerned there. Yeah, Ashwell Barrage is special. Both of my Pokemon are special attackers. I'm going to protect... Oh, you can't fake out uh, Calyrex. So I'm going to... Ashwell Barrage... Protect Wisdom Caught. I'm expecting fake out Behemoth Blade into my Cotton Ball. Zash and protects. Okay. No fake out though. Oh, it's gonna parting shot into my uh, Calyrex. It's okay. I get some decent damage off on the Incineroar. Oh, just oh, Darkest Slayer. It's gonna just bash into Calyrex. I didn't think of it just attacking. Okay. Okay. So I think now we send in Entei. And then I can Tailwind Sacred Fire Zashin. Okay. 
So we're going to... What was the rest other Pokemon on our team? The only one that I would be afraid of coming in right now is Politoed. So I actually think we... Stomping Tantrum? No, I'm just going to Sacred Fire and hope for a burn if it comes down to that. But I'm going to Tailwind here this time. Withdraws Ashen. Brings out Zapdos. Okay, I'm happy I used uh, Sacred Fire. I'm expecting it to have Static. Oh, it's Shiny Zapdos. Jealous. Oh, Sacred Fire connects and deals decent amount of damage. Parting Shot into Entei. Most likely to bring Zashin back out. If not, we'll see what the uh, fourth Pokemon is. What do we got? Rillaboom. Okay. So now you want to fight over that. So I'm going to swap uh, Entei out for Tapu Lili. Get rid of the parting shot damage. Well, not damage, the uh, stat drop. And then I'm going to Moonblast into Zapdos here. The only thing, yeah, Rillaboom can't really do anything and a Hurricane out of Zapdos shouldn't, won't take me out and I'll weaken Grassy Glide. I think Rillaboom loses a lot of its staying power without being able uh, to Dynamax. Ran into a few of those when I jumped on and did some random battles here and there. I'll get a special uh, defense boost with Tapu Lele. Zapdos comes back. Here comes Incineroar. Incineroar is going to get hit by Moonblast. I don't worry about Intimidate drops here. And Sin survives. Oh, high horsepower goes into Tapu Lele. That's fine. All right, fire resists. Uh, fire resists me. Okay, that's fine. Resist fairy. I'm just gonna. Hit Incineroar slot again. I could double protect. But if they swap, it's just... Okay, no no fake out. No double... No swapping this turn. I'll take out Incineroar. Psy Shock should deal some decent damage to Rillaboom. Just... Just under half. Knockoff isn't gonna do... That did a lot more than I thought it would for not having an item. Still have... How many turns of it do I have left? How many more turns of... Tailwind? So I have one turn left of Tailwind. Do I double protect here? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out Rillaboom and protect my Cotton Ball to get Tailwind up next turn when I assume nothing should take out Lily. The special defense boost didn't do much to what I had to fight with Lily in this match, except Zapdos. Here comes Zapdos. So Zapdos will be taking a big, uh... Psy Shock. I forgot it was down to half. It might take enough damage to knock it out here. Jason protects, so I'm not... I didn't even target that slot this turn. So I actually get through this turn while keeping Lili in on the field. I'm actually shocked here. So now this turn, I'm going to protect my Lili... Expecting grassy, glassy, grassy, gra grassy glide. I always get tongue tied with that. Because I would try to grassy glide into the Lily, so I'm going to protect 
Hopefully Lee stays around. I'm going to get the last, most likely the last Tailwind up of the match. Because either I'm going to lose both Pokemon here. Well, I'm not going to lose Lily. I'm going to lose Wisdomcott here and have Entei in. Or, yeah, there's the Glide. I called that right. BMF Blade goes into my cock into my cotton ball. I'll survive with the focus sash. Hmm. Hmm. Not too sure what I should do here. I do think I just Double into Rillaboom. Yeah, I'm going to double into Rillaboom and... Yeah, Zashin protects again like it's been doing every other turn. Grassy Glide comes out, takes out Lili. I'm going to have Entei. And they're going to have a very weak uh, Rillaboom here. Yeah. Okay, and it loses some special attack, which isn't going to matter. It's a physical attacker. So now I get to see how strong Entei actually is. I'm concerned for this. I could take out Rillaboom real fast, but I need to hit the uh, Zashin. So I'm going to Moonblast into Rillaboom again. I'm expecting... Gra I should have just protected it. Yeah, maybe Protect was the right play there. Gain some more health back. Not what, like 9 HP? Grassy Glide goes into... The oh, was that a little bit higher? Uh, one more turn might have actually kept Wisdom Cut alive. But now I'm going to get Sacred Fire into Zashin. It's a one hit. One hit KO. That's good. That's real good. Now, Rillaboom versus Entei. I'm pretty sure Entei just wins this. I have a 5% chance of missing with Sacred Fire. And I only have... Oh, I PP upped it. I have a full 8. That's fine. Sacred Fire comes out first. I didn't even bother. All right, so that's good game. So I'm going to close out the video here. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I try to be online every night at uh, 6 p.m. We've been playing a lot of Pokemon Unite. I've also gotten back into some shiny hunting. Uh, I've been making a few TikToks of some of my... Um, Shiny catches and some other ra some random Pokemon TCG stuff. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you would like to see. I was thinking about doing some theme teams. Kind of want it. I have an idea for the first one I'm going to do. It's more of a joke one uh, to honor the uh, YouTuber who started theme teams. Uh, if you can guess who that is, let me know in the comments. Um... Yeah, I'm hoping to have a video out every day uh, right before I start streaming. So, uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by. Have a good rest of your day.